Hi everybody and welcome back to the Safari Expert YouTube channel. Now those of you that follow along on my adventures will know that for the past year or so I've been using the Bluetti EB70 portable power station when I go camping and it's worked incredibly well. I use it to run my laptop, to charge camera and GoPro batteries and camping lights and also to run a fan in my tent. And up to now I've always camped at places like the Kruger National Park or the Kalahari Trans Frontier Park where I've had access to power outlets which allowed me to easily top up the EB70. Recently though I went on a month-long overlanding adventure through Zimbabwe where we camped on the banks of the mighty Zambezi in Mana Pools and below the iconic Chilojo Cliffs in Ghana Resort. None of the campsites that we stayed at had any power so I knew on this trip I had to take with a solar panel to top up the EB70. So I reached out to Bluetti South Africa and they were kind enough to send the Bluetti PV200 solar panel with for this trip specifically. So after using it for a month this is what I think. I must admit the PV200 is a little bit larger and heavier than I thought it would be but it folds up nicely into a flat square approximately 60 by 60 centimeters in size which made it very easy to pack into those thin empty spaces in the back of my vehicle. And the weight of 7.3 kilograms is still substantially lighter than what a fixed non-foldable solar panel would weigh. When opened up completely it's over 2 meters long giving you a very large surface area to harvest solar energy. The Bluetti PV200's monocrystalline solar cells can convert up to 23.4% of sunlight into solar energy, which allows you to charge your power stations or solar generators even in poor weather conditions. Whenever I used the adjustable kickstands to angle the PV200 towards the sun, I was able to charge at 46 watts as early as 7 a.m. in the morning, and by 8 a.m. I was already charging at over 100 watts. The most I was able to get around midday on a bright sunny day was 175 watts. At these charging rates I was able to run down the 716 watt hour EB70 completely at night which happened a couple of times because my brother's camping fridge was struggling a little bit to charge on his dual battery system and then still have it fully charged before midday the following day. And to give you an idea at 10 a.m. on a very overcast day I was still charging at around 50 watts which meant that I could still top up the EB70 despite the fact that there wasn't full sunlight as long as I wasn't charging a lot of other stuff that was draining a lot of power. I don't know about you but I hate having to prop up a floppy solar blanket with camping gear so another thing that I love about the PV200 is the build quality. Each foldable panel is rigid enough to stay in position and never feels like it's going to break even if you drag it around your campsite looking for the sunniest spots. Its long-lasting ETFE coating also makes it scratch and water resistant but apparently you should never leave it out in the rain. At the back of the solar panel is a small pouch with a standard MC4 connector and that means that the PV200 is not only compatible with the EB70 and other Bluetti power stations but with most solar power stations and generators. The Bluetti PV200 solar panel thoroughly impressed me on this trip to Zimbabwe and to be completely honest with you I can't imagine ever traveling without it again even when I go to places like the Kruger National Park or the Kalahari because it just means you never have to wonder whether or not there's a power outlet close enough or have to stress about things like load shedding. So if you guys like what you see and you want to learn more or even order it online go and check out the link that I've added at the top of the video description. A massive thank you to Bluetti South Africa for sending it to me and also to all my patrons who support me on a monthly basis. You guys are legends. If you have any questions about the PV200, drop it in the comments down below and also keep an eye out for my Mana Pools and Gonorazo videos which I'll post on the channel soon. Until next time.